Let's move on to question number three. Okay, so in this question, we're asked, can the magnitude of a vector be zero even though one of its components is non-zero, so not zero? So we have some vector, so I just draw an arrow, so this is question number three. So some vector, we can say this is u, and we're asked if one of its components is non-zero, so we have x and y, and z, so I'll just do it like that. Z, y, x, and it could be like a, let me actually undo that and draw in a different color. Okay, so you can think of a vector um, as kind of some, in a 3D uh, coordinate system, some kind of vector like that, pointing to this point in space. So uh, let's just go through the logic of what the junior tutor said. So the answer is no, um, but the reasoning behind it is, is the magnitude of a vector cannot be zero if any of the components is not zero. So this is kind of a better diagram in the x, y coordinates. So we can see if it's if this side is zero and this side is zero, then we get the zero vector. But if at least this side or this side is, is has some kind of value greater than zero, then we're going to get a, a vector with a magnitude. Regardless of what direction it points in, it might point in different directions, but we can see that every time we do this, we will end up with um, a magnitude. And you can think of um, the force over here. Uh, if you were to calculate the magnitude, it would be the square root of fx squared plus fy squared. So that, that would be the magnitude of this force. Um, let me just write that a little better. Um, and then goes on to say the components of the vector are the effects of the vector in each axis and so on. So this is the equation for the magnitude and even in the 3D system, same idea. If at least one of these has a value, you'll always have a vector that has a magnitude. Um, so even if it's f of x is zero, we still have f of y, and our uh, magnitude is just in the y direction, but we still have a magnitude. So uh, when the vector is non-zero, any one of the components of the vector can be zero. This means that the vector is acting parallel to the other axis. So that's what we see here in this example. And the same thing in the case of a 3D coordinate system. So we'll say answer is correct great job and we'll move on to the next question